this is Devario Lopez, and welcome to the first episode of Ask Devario. You've sent in your questions, and now I've selected a few that I will be answering today. First of all, I want to thank each and everyone who sent me their questions. Due to time constraints, I won't be able to answer every single one, so if I didn't get to your question, don't despair. I may answer it in a later video, or I may also answer another question you send in as well. So keep those questions coming. Anyway, let's get started. The first question is from the fan guy 123 And he asks, How did you come up with a Collins family and mean big sister? Well, when I first discovered GoAnimate, I made a quick test video about a dopey guy named Howard, trying to hit on his co-worker named Sylvia during their lunch break. I liked how it turned out, so I made another video, a follow-up in which Sylvia's husband Reynaldo, confronts Howard about him hitting on his wife. I decided then to make a series out of this character, and called it Howard the Ultimate Meatball. Those first two test videos became episodes 1 and 2 of the series. And the series took off from there, with the addition of more characters and bigger stories, until it became the show you all know and love. As for Mean Big Sister, that series evolved out of a bunch of videos I made, about twin girls tormenting their twin baby sisters. They were sort of inspired by the Rob and Alex series. I wanted to do a series in a similar vein, so I created my own characters, instead of using Rob and Alex, and their sisters Julie and Carrie. I posted these videos onto my account under the title, Six Previously Unreleased GoAnimate Videos, from 2013. After making those videos, I decided to revamp the series by just having one big sister and one baby sister, instead of two sets of twins. And that's how the Mean Big Sister series came about. The next question comes from David the Animator. He asks, Can you make Mean Big Sister goes to Universal Studios in Orlando? If I can think of a good story plot to go with it, I might consider that idea for a future episode. Thanks for your suggestion David. Ah, the next question is from one of my frequent contributors, Truly Chloe. She wants to know, When will you make another special with the Goo Goo Dolls in it? I loved seeing them in the wedding episode. Well Chloe, if you have any ideas for me, about another Goo Goo Dolls video, I'd be glad to hear them. Next, we have two questions from Zoe and Chase Yes, Barney Season 7 No, VGCP. The first one is, Can you do Jessica Big Movie 2, plus can I give you the script for it? Regarding another Mean Big Sister movie, I haven't really decided yet but I'm certainly open to the idea of doing another one. If you can show me a script, I would be interested in checking it out. If I feel it's doable, I might go ahead and adapt it into a movie. And the next question from this person is, Will you do a rant series? Well, I'm usually a pretty laid-back guy, and I don't really know what to rant about. So I probably wouldn't do a rant series. Anyway, thank you for your questions. This next question is from, and I hope I pronounce this right, the Joe 14444. He asks, can you do the Collins family movie? And he also says, subscribe me to YouTube. I'm open to doing a Collins family movie, but I haven't come up with a good idea for one just yet. But like they say, never say never. And yes, I will subscribe to you. Okay. Next we got Galaxy Unicorn Productions, and he sent me a whopping 7 questions. Wow, thanks for sending those in. I'll see if I can answer them all. His first question is, what kind of videos did you do on Extra Normal? In 2010, I made a series on Extra Normal, called The Jones and Rick Show. Jones and Rick were two Star Trek fans who would often clash, because they liked different aspects of the Trek franchise and could never agree on what makes a real fan. I only made seven episodes of the series, and then kind of lost interest in it. Not long after that, Extra Normal went belly up. I still have all the Jones and Rick videos, and may post them up in the future. By the way, Jones and Rick have also made appearances, in some Collins family episodes. His second question is, Do you have any pets? Our family did have a cat but she just recently passed away last month. She was 18 years old. 
Question number three. Will you do any other series, besides the Collins family or Mean Big Sister? Well, I have thought about doing a pilot episode for a Collins family spin-off, focusing on Jennifer's older sister, Catherine Fredericks, and her family. It revolves around the baby twins Timmy and Elizabeth, having their first birthday. An idea that Chloe, Joshua and I came up with a while back. I might do that pilot in the near future, I haven't really decided yet. If I do make it, then we'll see where it goes from there. Okay, question number four. Why did you cancel the Collins family, and will it get more episodes? Mainly, because I felt that the wedding of Howard and Allison made for a good natural ending point for the series. Howard started out as a guy who never really had much luck with anything, but over the course of the series, he got a good job, made several close friends, got a stable relationship, and finally got married and settled down. To me, it was the perfect way to close the series. I always intended the Collins family to continue in some capacity though, which is why we have the specials now. Question number 5. Will you do more videos featuring the 786100 family? Yes, the 786100 family will continue to appear in future videos. Number 6. Will there be a Collins family 4th of July special, and or Memorial Day special? Well, maybe not full-blown specials, but I could still make short videos, with the Collinses and all their friends wishing the viewers a happy 4th of July, or Memorial Day. And now his seventh and final question. Will Jessica and or Ashley prank their unborn sibling? Then he adds, I hope it will be a boy. Ha ha, well, since pranking and tormenting seems to be a thing in the Andrews family, I wouldn't be surprised if it continued after the baby is born, and the poor kid falls victim, to a Jessica or Ashley prank. But for the most part, I think they will be nice to their new sibling. Thank you for all your questions. Okay, I have room for one more question. This one's from Paul Nowinski, and he asks, Where do you think Python got his machine gun, his grenades, and his RPG, since they don't sell them in stores? From the government possibly? I don't know, good question Paul. Maybe one day, he just said to himself, Self? I think it would be awesome if you got some new stuff for your arsenal. And so he harnessed all the energy around him, and said, S and, F, and up and, down. Yeah. And then presto, there were his shiny new machine gun, grenades, and RPG. Well, that's all for the premiere episode of Ask Devario. There's still a few more questions, that were left in the comment section of the announcement video, that I still want to respond to. But I will save those for the next video. Anyway, thank you for watching, and I hope you keep sending me more questions. This is Devario Lopez, and I'm out.